Hi, welcome back to part two of InCarb's building section vignette. This tutorial is just um, the second part, so if you haven't seen the first, you might want to do a little search and find it. We we'll go ahead and zoom in. We've completed the laboratory portion of the second uh, of the section, as well as the first floor portion of the section. Now we just need to uh, do the parapets and the upper level zoom in on the upper level. I'm going to change the layers to the second floor. And let's actually zoom back a little bit. Okay, see we are cutting through here where uh, the program has us at a nine foot ceiling so maybe let's start by doing that. Go ahead and draw in a rectangle here and we'll zoom in and adjust the size of that rectangle start by placing it at the floor level move this down to or up to nine feet next draw a finished ceiling Let's pull it on across have to zoom out to get it the rest of the way okay zoom out what I wouldn't kill for if this program had a scroll for zoom. It drives me nuts having to hit that zoom tool twice to zoom zoom out and then resume back in. Okay, next thing moving on is I usually draw in that sketch rectangle for the 8 inch clearance for the lights. So let's go ahead and do that. Drop that in. I'll just have to adjust it like always. Use the move adjust tool zoom in, adjust it down to 8 inches okay, there, that's about right okay, next we want to, so we've got the area for the lights, so we have the ceiling we need to make sure we've got our uh, we're cutting through a partition here there doesn't appear to be a closet, but just a partition wall, so we need to draw our fire rated partition let's drop it in there and pull it up above the ceiling and that reminds me we never did pull this partition all the way up the structure which is critical you'll fail the vignette if you don't do that so let's move this partition so that it aligns with the, the, the partition and plan And you, if you use your again your cursor tool, you can the crosshairs you can line those up, and that works really well. Okay, that looks good. Now we need to go ahead and look at to see what ducts we're cutting through. It looks like we're cutting through a 20 by 12, and that's all. No other duct is cut through. So draw duct 20 inch by 12 inch. And we'll just go ahead and drop that in right in that space. And let's check to see what the deepest, looks like a 20 inch is the deepest duct. If we go back again to this vertical riser, that's where the deepest duct is going to occur. So 20 inch space, so let's use a sketch rectangle. And uh, let's draw, draw 20 inch high, which wouldn't be a 1 foot 8. Just pull it across there. And if you want, you can pull it all the way if that helps. Okay, so we've got that within that space, which is good. So that's a 12 inch duct, it's aligned perfectly. So, okay, everything's good there. Next, let's look at what uh, joists are getting cut through. It looks like it's in section and 24 inch joists at five foot center. So let's draw, um, uh, it's not in section, it's in elevation. Uh, elevational joists at, what did I say? I said five foot center, so joists with deck and elevation 24 inch there we are centers don't matter if you're in elevation that's what was throwing me off so drop it in there like that now let's use a zoom tool to place it properly now use move adjust oops okay, we'll keep that where it is again click multiple times to get to the right element if, uh, if elements overlap 
So we've got that there. That's pl placed properly vertically. Now we're going to just have to, oops, there it goes again. Use the move adjust tool to move your parapets up. And do the same thing on this other side here. Move adjust tool, move your parapets up. And it looks like we're not bearing quite halfway, just a few notches in, which is appropriate. Do, you know, three or four notches in, but don't go more than halfway. Halfway would be the absolute max you'd want to go. So I usually, I go, usually go about a third of the way. That seems about right. Okay. Let's see. The last thing we need to do here now is we need to double check our parapet heights. All parapets need to be two feet above the deck. So we draw a sketch rectangle that is two feet high and then we just snap the top of the parapet to it just like that. We'll do the same thing on the other sides here. I use the scroll tool here if you're running out of space. Okay, so oops, I'm going to use the undo because I accidentally grabbed it and adjusted it in the left right direction where I just want to adjust it vertically. Okay, so it's at 27.9, so I need to move that up to 29.9. Again, I'm looking at the bottom of my screen down here. Use the Move Adjust tool. Pull it down to the deck and look to see what the height is, 27.9. So let's move it up to 29.9 to get that two feet. And then that is our solution. Now, it's always smart to check. Oh, yep. Yeah always want to check all your elements make sure you've got everything in there and I forgot to move my fire rated partition up the deck again that would have been a failing um, solution without that up the deck we we'll make sure all the walls that we're cutting through are being indicated all of our our uh, ducks are in there our uh, joists are in there properly our footings are in our slab our uh, our ground plane is in I think that everything is right. Let's go ahead and check and go to level one and check everything on level one as well. Okay, here we got uh, the corridor partition and the non fire rated partition. It's only going up as about six inches above the deck or above the ceiling. We've got uh, space for our ducks. We've got our actual ducks place. We've got space for our lights. Okay, everything looks great. This is the f final solution. I'll see you on the next video.